Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am the Money Chest and today we will visit Italy in the early 1980s when the Prime Minister was Giovanni Spadolini. This is the period when the neo-fascist violence stopped and the period called Years of Lead was finished. In the 1982 I can mention also uh, some mafia murders but the main event of uh, that year of course was the World Cup edition held in Spain where Italy defeats West Germany in the final and wins the cup. The top scorer and the best player of the cup was also an Italian, Paolo Rossi, with 6 goals. The banknote that you can see here is the smallest denomination from that period and also replacing the old 1000 lira note. This is one of the two issued notes having a different cashier signature. The banknote was printed in Rome by the National Bank after the decree from 6 January 1982. On the front, we can see an animal and flower print, the denomination in numbers and letters, the issuer, the signature uh, and the face of Marco Polo. We can also observe the coat of arms of Italy, where we can see the winged lion of Saint Mark, the, the evangelist. This bronze sculpture is brought in Venice in San Marco Square in the 12th century, but it is moved a couple of times, being damaged during these operations. It was repaired and some of the original elements were modified or added new ones, for example the book under the lion's paw. The lion is the symbol of Venice, the same as Marco Polo. As you can see here, uh, Marco Polo appears as an old man and because of uh, this we can say that um, this is how he looked like after he was imprisoned on uh, his return from China. Marco Polo was a Venetian merchant and explorer who traveled throughout Asia with his father and uncle, also merchants. He learned how to be a good diplomat and because of that he was appointed as the foreign emissary of Kublai Khan. He traveled a lot in the southeast of Asia, reading detailed uh, chronicles of his experience. When he returned to Venice after 24 years, he was in the middle of a, of a war between Republic of Venice and Republic of Genoa. He joined the Venetian forces, but at one point he was captured and imprisoned for three years. In this period, he dictates all of his journeys to his cellmate, and uh, later a book appears with the title uh, Livre de Merveille du, du Monde, or better known as The Travels uh, of Marco Polo. He dies uh, at age 70 uh, in 1324. On the back of the banknote, in the upper part, we can see the anti-counterfeit text and the issuer, left the date, bottom, the serial number and the denomination. The central figure is the Doge's Palace from Venice. The Doge was uh, basically the ruler of Republic of Venice. The palace was built in 1340 and uh, was extended and modified throughout the time. In 1923, uh, it becomes a museum. It is built in a Venetian Gothic style, on top of another palace built in Byzantine Venetian style um, in the year uh, 810, uh, destroyed by a fire. Today the palace uh, and San Marco Square is visited by over 1 million people. You can find more about uh, Marco Polo, Venice and the Doge's Palace in the description. Ok, let's later return in the 1980s. The average salary in that period was around 350,000 lira, a bread cost 850 lira and a bottle of milk 480 lira. As a market value, the banknote that you can see here can be found between 1 and 10 US dollars depending on the state. Ok guys, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video and also hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.